Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply and divide mixed numbers. We'll go through one example of each, and I'll explain each step as we work through the problems. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have four and two thirds times two and one fifth. Now, the first thing that we wanna do here is to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. We do that by multiplying and then adding. Let's convert four and two thirds to an improper fraction. So we start at the bottom and work our way to the top. And again, we multiply and then add. So three times four is 12 plus two is 14. 14 is our numerator. We keep the denominator of three the same. So 14 thirds is four and two thirds and we converted it to that improper fraction. Let's bring our multiplication sign down and then convert two and one fifth to an improper fraction. So we multiply and then add. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11. So 11 is our numerator and then keep our denominator of five the same. Now the reason we convert these to improper fractions is to have a numerator, a top number, and then a denominator, a bottom number. Now we can multiply straight across. So 14 times 11, that gives us 154. Three times five is 15. So we get 154 fifteenths or 154 over 15. That's an improper fraction. So we want to convert this back to a mixed number for our final answer. So we do that by dividing 154 by 15. How many whole groups of 15 can we pull out of 154? Well, 10, that gets us to 150. Now we did not hit 154 exactly. We had a remainder of four, so that's our numerator, and then keep our denominator of 15 the same. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Four fifteenths, well, the greatest common factor uh, between four and 15 here is one, so this is simplified and done. 10 and four fifteenths. So to recap, convert to improper fractions, and then we can multiply straight across. Let's move on to number two, where we have eight and a half divided by three and six sevenths. So we need to convert these to improper fractions. Start at the bottom, work our way to the top, multiply, and then add. So two times eight, that's 16, plus one is 17. Keep our denominator of two the same bring our division sign down here, and then three and six sevenths. So multiply and then add. Seven times three is 21, plus six is 27. So that's our numerator. Keep our denominator of seven the same. So now we have numerators and denominators only, and we can go through our dividing fractions steps. Keep, switch, flip. So we always keep our first fraction. So let's rewrite this problem using those steps. Keep 17 over two. Switch division to multiplication, the opposite of division here. So switch to multiplication. And since we switch to the opposite of division, we're going to flip our second fraction, meaning the seven is going to be our numerator and the 27 is going to be our denominator. This is called the reciprocal. So the seven is now the numerator and the 27 is now the denominator. Now we can multiply straight across. So 17 times seven and then two times 27. Now just a side note here, if you need to solve something to the side, for example, 17 times seven, you can come to the side and let's multiply here. 17 times seven well, seven times seven is 49. Seven times one is seven plus four is 11. So 119, it's okay to come to the side to solve things if need be. So 119 
is our numerator, and then 2 times 27 is 54. So we get 119 54ths, or 119 over 54. That's an improper fraction. We do not want to leave our final answer as an improper fraction, so let's convert it to a mixed number. So 119 divided by 54. How many whole groups of 54 can we pull out of 119? Well, two whole groups, that gets us to 108. We did not hit 119 exactly. We had a remainder of 11, and we keep our denominator of 54 the same. Now, 11 54ths is in simplest form. The greatest common factor between 11 and 54 is 1. So we are done here, 2 and 11 54ths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply and divide mixed numbers. Convert everything to improper fractions, and then go through your steps as far as multiplying or dividing fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.